Smiling faces in Kyiv, Ukraine. For Olena Sheremetyeva, last summer's family vacation feels like a world away. Her mother and father are still in Kyiv, but now their smiles are gone. This photo is from last weekend. They are going through a survival at the moment because um, they don't know what future holds for them. Olena, her husband Joey, and son Nicholas live in Salem. She says her parents, Natalia and Mikola, spend their nights awake in a bomb shelter and their days checking on friends while trying to eat and rest. They also connect with Olena when they can. Every time they can, they text me, and this is the hardest part for me because every time I talk to them, I mentally prepare it's the last time I talk to them. You know, I liken it to uh, watching a 9-11 on her part every single day and having to live that and knowing that it's coming again tomorrow. Olena's husband, Joey Rudisil, is chief information officer at Central Willamette Credit Union. It's one of 15 credit unions in Oregon that just raised $67,000 for Ukrainian relief. Half will go to Portland-based Mercy Corps. The rest will go to the Worldwide Foundation for Credit Unions, which is also helping in Ukraine. I'm proud of the credit unions for doing what they're doing to make this happen. The effort stemmed from a recent meeting among several credit union executives, including Clackamas Federal Credit Union CEO Aaron Goff. Uh, it was very moving. They heard the Ukrainian ambassador to the U.S. speak about Ukraine's need for humanitarian aid and decided to help. We often come together to have impact, to, to do things that, that help the community and our members. Usually it's the local community, but in this case, uh, you know, halfway around the world. And as the world waits for word of hope in Ukraine, so does Olena's family. That my grandparents up still are up alive, and I hope um, Ukraine wins again. Olena's family hopes their story and the generosity of others will inspire more people to donate money to Ukrainian relief funds. We've posted information on several nonprofits that are helping on KGW.com. Catherine Cook, KGW News.